Hi everyone, I'm in Greenwich. Now, I couldn't leave the UK without going to a proper fish and chip shop. Now, I went to a pub uh, just recently and had fish and chips, but the chips were frozen, the fish was great, and I thought, you know what? I've got to go traditional. And this is my favorite fish and chip shop in London. This is the Golden Chippy. Cheers. Lovely British day today. <laughs> so there you go. What can you do? For those of you that don't know, um, I'm leaving the UK next week and I'm going to go and uh, try a new life in Thailand. So that's why I'm going to all my favourite places before I go. have an outside area as well that's, that's covered so it's nice because it's not it's not really a cold day it's uh, quite mild but it's just a bit rainy so I've ordered um, large cotton chips mushy peas and a cup of tea I should have, have a slice of bread and butter as well shouldn't I I'll see if they do it yeah I've ordered bread and butter um, yeah, I filmed here whew, about two years ago. I was on Daisy. Uh, Daisy was my Ducati V2, which I'm going to miss because I'm selling all my bikes. But um, <laughs> hey, it's a new life. It's I'll get another bike. You know, I can't have life without a bike. I've been riding bikes since I was eight years old. So. Um, yeah, I've kept my crash helmets that have all been airbrushed. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you the bill at the end. But for now, let's wait for this cotton chips. Yeah. You know what? A nice cup of tea with with fish and chips. I don't know what it is. There's some foods where certain drinks go better. It's like I've, I've always said, this is my personal opinion, by the way. Um, if, I'm, if I'm having a, a fried breakfast, I like to have a cup of tea with the breakfast rather than coffee. Now, I drink a lot of coffee, but for me, coffee is for just drinking on their own or after meals. But I don't know, what's your opinion on that? I mean, that's how I am. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't have a coffee with a breakfast, but I just think tea goes better. You've got the condiments there, you've got the onion vinegar, the, the malt vinegar, Heinz ketchup, you've got Hellman's mayonnaise back there, and then of course, the tartar sauce that comes with it anyway, but I'm having uh, mushy peas. Enjoy, Thank you. Thank you. I think I might be on my troubles.
Spot on. I'm gonna get some vinegar on the fish and chips now. You cured my aching heart when you came, came around. I saw brilliant signs. I must be worried by now. There's a reason why. That didn't need any cutting at all. Beautiful flesh. I'm gonna, because it's so hot, <laughs> I'm gonna use my knife and fork. I'll tell you what, I'll just pick that end bit up. That's what I'll do. By the way, I do like a lot of vinegar, which is why it was dripping. All right, let's try this. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Woo! I should have known better, really, because I've just freshly fried it. But that is so tasty. I'm gonna chuck some of this tartar sauce. Got a new pot as well. Um, I'm gonna put it right on the right on the end, and then I can just have it as and when. I love the fact that I've been to all these places over the years of doing YouTube videos and then I can come back and visit because what I love is sometimes you go back to these places and they're not the same but this is spot on now it's chip butty time now who doesn't like a chip butty Mm. A chip bite with proper chips. Now here's one for you. Does salad belong with fish and chips? Well, I had this last time. And it's just divine. I like salad that way. You've got a nice dressing on the top, but it's lettuce chopped. It's all chopped. That's how I like it. So you can put the, the red onions in there. I think there's coriander in there as well. I can taste that. You know, the tomato is, is diced, so I'll take it. Cucumbers diced, I'll take it. So put it all together with a little bit of carrot as well and that dressing. That's a, that's a lovely fresh salad. Does it belong with fish and chips? I'm not sure, but it tastes great. I think it might be over my troubles.
is so light as well. It's you and me. Ooh, yeah. Cause I cannot fake it. No matter how I feel. Yeah. Cause you hear my aching heart. When you come, come around. It's a That, ladies and gentlemen, was spot on. Could the chips been would could have been a bit browner, but it, it doesn't it doesn't affect the taste. They're cooked, and usually when they're brown, they've either been they've either been overdone slightly or it's old uh, cooking oil. So. You know, it might be new cooking oil, so you don't get the brownness unless you leave them in longer. So that's questionable, but hey, they were amazing. So was the fish. Mushy peas was good. Tartar sauce, nice, not overpowering. Nice cup of tea. There you go. Golden chippy, Greenwich. It's about two or three minute walk from Greenwich Station and about a 10 minute walk from the Cutty Sark Greenwich Station. <clears throat> so both accessible by DLR, but the Greenwich one you can get to by underground as well as DLR. So there you go, this is the Golden Chippy and it has to be my favourite fish and chip shop in London and I've been to a few so I thought I'd share this one with you if, in case you haven't seen the one I did two years ago but again this is my farewell to the best eateries in London coming from someone that's lived here a long long time and I've been to a lot so I hope you enjoyed that one guys if you're in the Greenwich area visiting the Cutty Sark or the Maritime Museum or the Royal Naval College Museum. Let's take a little walk up. Um, I don't know the name of the road, but I should put that on the end as well. And uh, come to the Golden Chippy. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tell your friends, family, acquaintances and colleagues. They, they might like it too. So thanks ever so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Large cotton chips, £17.50. I'll take that for London. Mushy peas, £2.50. Um, bread roll, pound. Anyway, it's all there. But... I think that is really good value for money. For London, it really is. So, uh, if you're in Greenwich, go try it. I was just lonely, but since you came around, all I see is tomorrow.